It'll be our first time going to Shaver Lake, so I'll show you guys how it is. driving up the mountains we could see all the burnt forest it was really sad to see all those burnt trees and the logs on the ground there were a lot of signs saying, saying thank you for the first responders and firefighters we're driving up a little bit more but we could see the green trees coming up and the difference and how it was supposed to look coming up here this is little town so you go straight, there was a sign saying public restrooms. We took a turn to that left and we saw this little map area and we took a look and we went to Shaver Lake Sports, Water Sports, and that's where we stayed. And I recommend that spot is really fun. There was also Shaver Lake Marina, but that's more for boats. That was the number 46 where we stayed, really close to the 168. Parking is super close to the spot, and the lake is right here. It's super fun. We're coming out to explore before we bring out our things and come our spot. playing with the sand. See if we can find a good hike. It looks like over here they have good hikes. Well, we'll see. Okay, well now we're gonna try to see if we can find a hike. The lake is right here. We are right here. The road is right here. But it looks like there's some woody parts and maybe a trail. We found the trail. And it's beautiful because you can see the water. See, it looks like here. And 
front, but it is up and downhill. It's a little hard, so we're a little bit out of breath. But I think it'll be short. Okay, this is beautiful. We found some horse poop. So I guess you can see the horse is okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> shaded area, this beautiful log, trees, wow. Super nice. So this is the marina, you see a bunch of boats, there's a boat ramp, there's a boat ramp. On this Edison camp? Edison camp. According to the sign? Yes. From the road it would be Edison camp. But where we went was, um, Shaver Lake Water Sports, right off of the 168. Right off of 168. But that one you have to drive in through the forest a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Not too bad though. And then you can rent a bunch of jet skis, boats, where we were you could too. So, a lot of fun. We're gonna come down now. Maybe that's a bad idea. We'll see. We decided not to go that way. It was just too much with Diego, Karen, Tiago. So we're coming the way that we came before. Party pooper. <laughs> he wanted to go between the rocks, but this is fine. All right, water break, and we're back where the lake was. We were up there. All done? Here. We're on our way back. How was it, D? Oh, oh great, awesome. Fun to yawn, really fun. Got tired, Tiago is out. We were not even driving for five minutes and he, he passed out. So it was a lot of fun. We were able to play in the water. There was some rocks we were jumping off of. Uh, we found a little trail that was really fun with a beautiful view. We, we noticed you can take horses because we, we found some horse poop, but it was fun. A lot of horse poop, <laughs> but it was really fun. So if you like going on hikes, I would say pack some shoes and socks and along with your flip-flops to go to the, um, to the ocean, to the lake, to the water. But we packed up some shoes, which was good. We just changed it and went on a hike. We also had a little hiking backpack for Tiago. So if you guys have that for your kids, bring that. We brought lots of snacks. We didn't even get around to eating all of it. We'll probably eat some on the way back. But um, Tiago ate, he played in the floaty, with, uh, he played without the floaty. There were some nice people next to us that were playing and he was playing with them too. So sunscreen, hat, um, and yeah, shade, because there's not a lot out of shade, so bring your little tent, your, your umbrella, your chair, or some blanket to put on, on the floor, on the sand, and, and have a great time. See you next time.